Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So this is number four, number four of my Avisualign sets, number four. And in a, what are we? So we are Thursday, so Monday I'll be moving on to number five. So how's it been going with set four? Well, to be quite honest with you, I'm a little bit sort of uncomfortable at the moment because this part of my mouth, I, I keep getting mouth ulcers on this part and that's because on the Invisalign I've got sort of like some nodules here on this eye tooth but if you can quite see sort of like little bumps of um, almost like ceramic on my tooth and um, on, on several of my teeth here for the Invisalign to move against and to move them into place but it seems to say that that sort of ridge here keeps giving me a really bad ulcer up here and if anybody knows what like, I think we all know what they're like it really does sort of open up quite large underneath my um just up underneath here and it's incredibly sore so that's been really annoying me on this sort of um uh, coming up to the two-week period now where I've had number four um on but in terms of sort of movement and change I can I can notice the difference, I really can. I mean, this side, when I smiled on my channel, I, I would get kind of shadow here. And as you can hopefully see, you can see the whites of my teeth there. So I'm really happy with the change, I really am. Um, today I had an appointment with uh, who's looking after me uh, throughout my treatment. Um, and I had some of the teeth in the front here uh, change shape ever so slightly. Unfortunately, when I got there, um, they actually had a power cut, but instead of me having to rebook again, they didn't use any sort of electrical equipment for anything, um, or like the automatic uh, sort of polishing um, pieces of equipment. They used apparently an old style sort of polishing thread, um, and very, very slightly, you can't notice it at all. They've just made space for my teeth now and my next aligner, number five, um, to be able to have more space to be able to move so they don't sort of catch against each other. And um, I'm, I'm really pleased. I have to admit, I'm really, really pleased. Um, I use all sorts of whitening toothpaste and one thing or another, and I know before anybody says that can also cause mouth ulcers, but it's ones which it's not new ones to me, but it's ones which I know I can use and I know are really good. Um, and I chop and change between them. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been going really really well. I have to admit, I'm still getting the incredible dry mouth all the time, but I think that's probably something because of course it's you you've got you've got something on your teeth, haven't you? So I kind of I'm starting to try to accept that now. What I try to do um, is always just have water with me all the time, particularly if I'm speaking quite a lot or from meeting in meetings at work and one thing and another. What I like, of course, um, is that I'm not having any problems now with any lisps or anything sort of extra on top of words, like the S's and the F's and everything like that at all. I can speak quite clearly. You wouldn't necessarily know that I I was going through this sort of um, or dental and vision line treatment at all. So I would really recommend it. It's been it's been going really really well. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm as you can see here, because this was my issue here, I had a collapsing arch, is, uh, I believe what they call it, um, and I've got some things in the background um, which could potentially cause that sort of health-wise as well, so even though yes, okay, it's, it's cosmetically, it's image, I'm having my teeth changed, um, with one thing or another, which I'm having investigations for the genesis in the background, that could also be uh, sort of impacting on that as well, so we've had those discussions and we're just going to do the treatment, I'm going to have a special type of retainer afterwards apparently, um, with almost emphasizing the arch outwards a little bit more, so it will it will hopefully fight against any more change after I've had this done. But you know how it's it's moving so quickly. I mean, we are on number four. It doesn't feel like that. I've only just started using them. So what's that? That's two, four, six, eight. I've nearly had them on for just over two uh, two months now. So and it's going it's going well. And I feel I feel confident with them in. I feel confident when I'm talking. It doesn't affect doesn't affect me in any way. To be quite honest with you, and sometimes I do just forget about them. This is quite funny, though, I have to admit, because this time, I mean, after I eat anything, okay, um, sorry, when I eat anything, I always take my Evisalines out when I drink most things, I take them out, unless it's clear, okay, um, I always take them out, always take them out. I did not realise, though, of course, that your saliva um, 
can still have the sort of the staining elements in it as well. So two days after I had the number four fitted, or I fitted them obviously myself through the program which I'm on, because that's through the app I'm using called Dental Monitoring. I don't go to any appointments, only if I'm having like um like a, a formal checkup, as to speak, or, or something altered with my teeth. I do it all on the Dental Monitoring app. Um, look back at my previous uh, Avision Line uh, clips and you'll see, because um, we talk about that quite a bit, and I'll probably touch on that again in my next one, in number five. But anyway... Um, so I took my visual lines out, and um, we were having, okay, Katsu Curry, okay, which is really strong in colour. Um, it's, um, I think it's a Japanese-inspired, or it is a Japanese curry dish, and you can you can serve it over uh, fried chicken. We actually had it with just normal chicken, but it was the colouring. Um, and it was fantastic, and it was all it was all made from scratch, and it was fantastic, and um, my mum done it, and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, then I thought, you know, after everything I eat, I always brush my teeth. Okay. And then I thought I drank some water after that, really made sure that everything was really clear. I wore them for a little bit. And then when I took the visual lines out, and I've still got it slightly as well, the top ridge of the plastic. So, for example, this sits against your teeth, but the top plastic ridge, I could see like this luminous yellow from the curry I'd eaten. And do you think I can get that staining off? No. So I'm really looking forward to getting rid of that. And, you know, I probably won't eat any strong coloured dishes at all because you've got to be really, really careful with coffee as well, because I like strong coffee. Um, and even sometimes I know that what, even I take them out, I would never dream of drinking anything like that with them in. So I always take them out and then I wait for a couple of minutes. Um, I drink some water and then after brushing my teeth, then I put them in. But do you know what? Sometimes even it must be just your saliva. It still taints them ever so slightly. So when I get to about the two week mark, I'm ready to just change them. I really am. Um, you can recycle them. I don't like the idea of them recycling. I'll hold my hands up to that, to be quite honest with you as well. So I just dispose of them. Um, I don't know if that's whether or not the right thing to do, but by the end of wearing them for two weeks, um, it, it's not necessarily nice. I'm quite funny with teeth anyway, so um, it's it's not it's not pleasant. But do you know, what? other than that, no issues at all. But I do have to laugh every time I take them out. I can just remember this particular curry dish which I which I had eaten. Um, so yeah, I won't be making that mistake again unfortunately i can you imagine with red wine honestly if you imagine to take a few sips of red wine the staining you would have um so that's one one of my tips i would say is just be careful of the staining um but yeah wholeheartedly recommend them um the specialist team who are looking after me um really really good and i'm already i can see as well that the abyss line is almost pushing my teeth out to be much more of almost like a feature so rather than being straight i can see them slightly sort of forward and um any of us are slightly, but you know, yeah, I really, really like it. And it's been a really great experience. So on that note, it's only a short clip. I will leave you there on that one. Um, if you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below. I do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much. And until next time, I'll be seeing you on Envision Line number five if you are watching my dental clips. But if not, please do have a look on my channel. There's a whole host of all different things for you to have a look at. And there'll be some coming real soon, too. Bye for now. God bless. Take great care. See you soon.